Hello gamers, after all the delay, the new season is finally here. We have a new map called Lair and a new operator named Tubarao from Portugal. But Ubisoft have also included some secret hidden changes this season that wasn't shown in the patch notes. Some of the stuff I found were... crazy. But hey, if you found anything new this season, drop it in the comments, I'm curious to hear what you guys have discovered. Lastly, don't forget to sub to my channel, it helps me a lot. So, without further ado, let's start today's video. Starting with the main menu changes, we now have more detailed information about the reputation system that now displays tips and guides to become a better teammate, lifetime and seasonal accommodations, average player misconduct, and depending on what reputation rank you will have, you will get new rewards, earnings and the ability to play ranked. But before, it was more simpler and more confusing, so this quality of life change is very well done. But in the meantime, the reputation system still has issues with troll reports that happens all the time. Hopefully, they'll fix that soon. Next up, some classic UI changes that has been made at the top menu, where now the home button is now replaced by an R6 logo. They also added how many squad members you have in the lobby in numbers. Lastly, they made some small changes to the account level and the renown count. This upcoming change is game breaking. You can now press X on the operator's tab to switch from attackers to defenders. Okay, I'm just joking, let's move on. <laughs> Speaking of operators, did you know that in a new season, Montaigne's pose with the shield got nerfed? Yes, that's correct. Last season, Montaigne used to be holding his shield while it was extended. Now, unfortunately, he's holding his shield unextended. I feel sorry for all of the Montaigne mains at the moment. Don't know what operator card background to purchase? Don't worry, cause in the new season, if you go to your operator card background inventory and scroll far down, you can find all of the operator cards that are available at the moment. You can even preview the card background that you like on your operator card. Last season, this feature just didn't exist at all, but shout out to Ubisoft for adding this. Have you ever started a custom game accidentally as a spectator? It has happened to me a lot of times and basically you're forced to restart the custom game. They finally fixed it by adding a button to become a spectator or play the game. Thanks yet again Ubisoft! When selecting an operator, you tend to witness that the operator icons are smaller, and it seems like there's space made up for a total of 28 more operators in attack and on defense. That means we will have at least 28 more seasons to go. This is kinda cursed to witness the first time, but it doesn't take that much time to get used to it. So Ubisoft removed the random pick icon at the top left, but they added a new keybind for picking a random operator. So if you press R, you will get a random operator. I don't know why they even changed this, it was so unnecessary. One weird unnecessary change that Ubisoft have made is that now they added gun stats with decimal numbers. Funny enough, every gun in this game had their stats displayed in integer, or so-called whole numbers, even if the gun has an extended barrel with a 12% buff. Out of curiosity, I checked the damage on the MP7 with and without the extra damage. In reality, if I would apply an extended barrel on the MP7, the damage stat should display 35.8. Yes, I hear you, I know you can't take exactly 35.8 damage. So I went to the shooting range to test it out, and from my results, I was kinda disappointed. The gun did 105 damage with 3 shots. In reality, it should deal 107 in total, which is basically 2 damage too short. You also might want to ask why this is so important, and to my answer, I want to ask you this. How many times have you died to a person that has 1 HP left? It actually happens and is so annoying. Who knows, this decimal change that Ubisoft have made might just be the start of this damage conspiracy. As you may have known, grenades got a rework where they cannot be cooked anymore. We don't need to go much in detail since you already know about the details, but they also updated a new sound for pulling out the safety pin. Take a listen. So we got a new operator nerf that wasn't mentioned, and sorry to all the floors mains, but you see this timer to the left? Well, it's completely gone. Yeah, it's very unnecessary to remove it, but in my opinion, I think it's just a glitch and it should be patched soon. This year's funniest secret change goes to... These birds on Villa! I don't know what has happened to them before the season's update, but I'm guessing Bandit had to do something with them. Anyways, this is definitely a glitch, but very hilarious to include in today's video. 
Ubisoft have made a small map change on the shooting range. They added more boxes here, and sadly, you're not longer able to vault on top of the box and hang out in the back area. And for the last secret change, on the shooting range there's a radio in the first zone that you can play music from Rainbow Six Siege's official soundtrack post-match that I sometimes use in my videos. This radio existed last season, but what's new about it is the icon to play the radio, which is a very minimal change, but I wanted to bring it up. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and peace.